Welcome to the demo on IBM Infosphere Optum Data Growth Solution Demo and the presentation solution for Siebel CRM. The objective of this demo is to show how IBM Infosphere Optum is used to archive the data from Siebel production, golden copy environment and display the archived records in Siebel application. The key benefits of data growth solution or archiving includes, first of all, the risk reduction. We safely archive the data, still maintaining the company retention and data compliance policies, and the data will be accessible for audit and e-discovery requests while ensuring a lean production data, which reduces the impact of disaster events. Business efficiency in terms of time. The next benefit is increase in business efficiency in terms of meeting the service level goals to ensure timely completion of key business processes for mission critical applications. Data access strategy. You can also implement scalable archiving strategies that can easily adapt to you on ongoing Siebel CRM requirements. Expense reduction. Cost reduction in hardware and software storage is achieved by archiving the data and storing it to a cheaper alternate database or in the form of files. The figure represents an ideal archival process. To, to the left is the production database from which Optum intelligently moves inactive or infrequently accessed data that still has value to lower cost storages while retaining the data integrity in both the environments. The data archive can be stored in file formats or to an alternative database. Optum also provides the ability to universally search and access data from both production and archive environment using the same native application or XML or ODBC or JDBC or any other third-party report writers. If need be, Optim can selectively retrieve and restore the data from the archive files back to the production database. The archive data is seamlessly accessed by the Siebel CRM using the native application access feature. The figure represents the native application access architecture. End users can view the archive data within the Siebel application. The archive data is displayed in summary as well as in detailed views. The summary data is stored in Siebel database. Detailed view data is retrieved from the archive file through ODM and WASCE server. Now let us go to Siebel Golden Copy environment to verify the sample data to be archived. What you see right now is the login page for Siebel application. We are logging in with the credentials sadmin slash sadmin. This leads us to the Siebel home page. Navigate to service request screen, service request list. From the drop down, select all service requests across organizations. Query for the service request, which has status closed. A list of records matching the criteria will be displayed. Select any record and click on SR hash. In this view, you will find details of service requests such as activity, invoices, attachments, orders, charges, and etc. Note down the SR number. The SR ID is 1001169. Verify records from the production database. Let's verify the data to be archived from production database. Our criteria for the demo is to archive the data with service request status as closed, last updated before five years, and template flag equal to N as specified in the query. Execute the query, and as you can see, there are 263 records which matches the criteria, including the record shown earlier in the gold copy Siebel application. Further to that, now let's have a look at the access definition editor, the archive request editor, restore request editor on core optum. What you see right now is the optum console we will use for core optum to perform the archive and restore process. For the demo purpose, we've already imported service request module archive optum export file and the optum export file or the ODS consists access definitions such as archive request, insert and the restore request. It also contains a primary key, relationships, table map, 
The identifier window is the place list of identifiers serves as the prefix for object definition. Let's have a look at the access definition and the verify criteria defined in IBM InfoSphere option. The access definition contains a list of tables and relationships based on the data model of table service request module. This is the table tab. It displays the list of table names in access definition to specify the data to be archived. To create a table list, we need to specify and add the start table and other tables like transaction tables, context tables and the reference tables. Go to the base table s underscore srv underscore request. In the table specification column, the icon indicates the selection criteria or other specifications for the table. Click on the selection criteria in the table specification. Sort in descending order, as you can see, selection criteria is already present. All the service requests matching these criteria will be archived. We can have any business criteria specified against the table that defines the eligibility of records for data archival. It even allows all types of SQL statements. This is the relationship tab which defines columns in the parent table that relate to corresponding columns in the child table. It also defines the traversal path for selecting data from the table's reference in an access definition. Now we will archive the record satisfying the criteria from Golden Copy Environment using IBM InfoSphere option. Let's open the archive request. The archive request defines the parameters for archiving data from source table and saving the data to an archive file. The data in an archive file can be browsed or selectively restored at any time. When we create an archive request, we must specify an archive file name, archive index file name and the access definition option. Now let's run the archive request. The archive request is started and processing. Once the archive request completes, a report will be generated which contains status and statistical information of the archive request like archive file name, total tables processed, rows archived and each tables, rows deleted and each table etc. This is the archive process report and this is the archive file generated. The process stated is no errors or no warnings and the number of rows archived is 4998. And now let's have a look at the Siebel Golden Copy application to verify the archived data. Navigate to service request screen, service request list and from the drop down select all service requests across organizations. Query for SR number. 1001169 and as you can see the service request record does not exist. Let's verify the record archived from the golden copy environment from the backend. Execute the same SQL. You can see that there are no records and the selection criteria in the database. All selection criteria matching records have been archived and deleted from the Golden Copy Siebel database. Let's view the archived data from the Siebel web client. End users can view the archived data within the Siebel application using the native application access feature. Now let's go to Siebel Golden Copy application to verify the archived data. Click on the archived service request screen. The archived data is displayed in summary as well as in detailed views. The summary data is stored in the Siebel application and records minimal data from records purged during the archive process. The summary data includes the original, primary and foreign keys from records in the primary business component table along with data from frequently searched columns which are configurable. Archive actions populate the summary data table after records have been archived and deleted from the production database. 
The Siebel client retrieves data from the archive summary table as it would from any other Siebel project. The list applet at the top shows all summaries of archived objects, while the form applet at the bottom shows formatted details for the object from the active summary. Query for the SR number 1001169. Click on the Archived Service Request Detail applet. A detailed view data is retrieved from the archived files through ODM and WASCE server. Here you can see the detailed information about the service request. The top applet displays summary archive information for the selected record. The middle applet displays details of the archived record. The bottom applet displays archived activity details for the selected record. Let's view archive file attachment and single attachment restore functionality. Click on the archive attachment tab. The data grid solution for Siebel CRM also allows you to archive the file attachments associated with the archive records. This function ensures that orphan attachments do not remain in Siebel file system and helps to capture complete information for the archived business object. The detailed viewing option in the data grid solution for Siebel CRM provides users the ability to retrieve and view an archived file attachment using the native Siebel application screens. We can see all the ar archived attachments for the current record in the archived attachment applet. If needed, we can restore the particular attachment by selecting it and clicking on the restore button. As well as we click on the restore button, Siebel SFS partition utility will be executed in the background. A partitioned Siebel file system can have two or more network directories in the Siebel file system and distributes the attachments among one of the participating directories. The single attachment restore feature uses Oracle Siebel SFS partition utility from Siebel version 8.0 onwards. Select the attachment and click on the restore button. We can see the status of attachment restore in the restore request applet. Status is in progress. Once the restoration completes, the status will be changed to complete. The attachment is placed back in the original Siebel file system directory. You can navigate to the restored attachment applet to view file attachment which we just restored. Click on the restored attachment to open the same. If you are using archive and detailed viewing for specific objects, you can sort the column information on the applet in ascending or descending order. For example, Go to the archived attachment applet, click on any file name to sort in ascending or descending order. Further to that, let's have a look at restoring archived data to the production database. The IBM Infosphere Optum Data Growth Solution for Siebel CRM allows you to restore archived data to the production database if it becomes necessary. Now we will restore the records which are archived from production environment. Let's open restore request from the identifier pane on Optum tool. The restore request allows us to select the data from archived files and restore it to the destination database, either the original or the alternate database. When we create a restore request, we must specify the archive file that contains the data to be restored. The file attachment can be restored to the file location, the Siebel file system, defined in the directory map in the insert request. In the archive file pane, add the archive file name to be restored. Right click on insert request and click on edit request. In the inputs tab, select the appropriate archive file and save and close the insert request. Now run the restore request. Once the restore request is completed, a report is generated. Now we can see the restore process report. The process status is no errors or no warnings. We can see the number of rows inserted into each table. Let's go to the Siebel production application to verify the data restored back to application. Navigate to service request screen, service request list, and from the drop down, select all service requests across organization. Query for SR number one. 001169. The record exists and all related tabs are visible. You can see the related details like activity, invoices, attachments, orders, and charges.
Let's verify the restored records from the golden copy environment in the backend. You can see there are 263 records which matches the criteria. All selection criteria matching records have been restored. And that brings us to the end of the demo. We have successfully archived and restored historical service request records from Siebel Golden Copy Environment. Thank you for watching the video.